So an introduction, uh, my name is Shane Kirkrew. I currently serve as the Vice President of Brand Management for the Apache Software Foundation. So this is a volunteer position appointed by the Board of Directors at the Foundation. And my responsibility is to define brand policy for all 180 Apache project communities. And I've been around at Apache since 1999. So the key thing to remember is any questions you have, send them to trademark at apache.org. That's where we can answer any sort of brand related issue from inter inside the community, outside the community, anyone. So what do I, we want to talk about today? So when I was talking, thinking about how to get across what I want to present and how to think about what you want to learn, the important thing to me is figuring out why we have our policies the way they are. So I want to start by talking about what is Apache. So what is the foundation? I want to talk about what the Apache brand, the Apache brand means, because if we can't define something, then it's not very easy to say, well, you can do this, you can't do that, if you don't know what it is. And of course, you know, the interesting thing, perhaps for most of you, is what can you do with Apache project brands, like Apache CloudStack? And the, the giant elephant in the room, we have to talk briefly about brand enforcement. Should never happen, but just in case, we can do that. And we probably will not have time for questions here in the session today, but I will be here for the rest of the conference and happy to meet with everybody. So what is the Apache Software Foundation? So in terms of structure, in terms of the organization itself, what is it? So we are a 501c3 membership corporation. So we have a nine member board of directors. Directors are elected from the membership by individual members. So this is very unlike um, Linux Foundation or Eclipse, where there's a corporate involvement in the governance. This is purely individual governance. We have a corporate sponsorship program, and I know that a number of our corporate sponsors, in terms of, of sponsoring the ASF, are here, and we thank them very much. Um, between that and between individual donations, um, that covers 100% of the foundation's funding. And that covers a uh, $750,000 annual budget, approximately, uh, mostly for hardware and system bin contractors, as you'd expect. We also spend on publicity, events, and a few other things, including brands. So why, why is this important? Why do we care? Governance is critical to how the foundation operates, both the foundation as a whole, as well as all our project communities, like Apache CloudStack. So the board appoints executive officers and corporate officers, like myself. We set policy and direct, and excuse me, not direction, policy for all projects. Very core policy. Um, the board also creates a vice president and chair, as we had this morning, the change of the chair of Apache CloudStack, which is great, um, and project management committees to manage projects. So within the few policies that we set foundation-wide, projects have complete technical direction and brand direction and so on. That's what the project decides for itself. We, we do not dictate any of that. So a key thing to note here is that all of these governance positions, all of the people setting policy, all of the PMC members, we view as volunteers. So none of the people at Apache are paid by Apache. Um, we have some contractors, but no employees. Uh, so the way that our governance is done is by the individuals who have shown the merit in the communities, within the foundation, so on, who set the policy. So this is the most important thing to explain to start off it with is the why of why we have our brand policies. The details are difficult. Trademark questions are always, it depends, you know, show me the actual example. We can't cover all that. But if you can understand what we believe and where the foundation and our projects are coming from, then you can see what, uh, you know, that makes it much easier to understand the, the concept. So if you don't bring home anything else, I want people to understand this message for this is who we are as the foundation in our projects. So we have different goals than most of you out there, especially from software vendors and hosters and providers and so on. Now, they're not incompatible goals at all. In fact, they're very compatible. But the fundamentals of how we set our policies and how we govern our projects, this is critical. So the mission of the foundation is to provide software for the public good. We're a public charity, and that fact Truly, when you really get down to making hard policy decisions, that is our core. That's what we optimize for. Now, the method that we use is also critical. The method is 
the foundation will provide a stable and independent home for like-minded project communities. So people who want to work in our way, which, you know, there are a lot of them now, we want to make sure they have a home, that we support them, we provide the projects with the services they need, and the backup for continuing that governance model and the project model. So it's really the communities who are doing our work, but we, we enable that to happen. And some people ask, well, so at the foundation level, so what's your goal? What's your five-year plan? And it's kind of funny to say that the foundation doesn't have a direction. We don't pick the projects that come to us. Our mission at the foundation is to be a public charity, be a public good, and our goal is to be here in 50 years. Because we know that if we're still here in 50 years, we will still have interested project communities who are creating innovative and new software that we can then give away for the good of the world. So this is the why of Apache. And this is important to understand when we talk about complex things like different vendors all wanting to use part of our brands. So let's define what is the Apache brand itself. Um, and I'm sure that people in this room will notice the little R symbol. So Apache actually is a registered trademark now. Thank you. So the Apache brand, in terms of the foundation, as well as part of every project brand, um, has a specific meaning to us. So the Apache brand is really our house brand for community-built software. So hopefully it's not a surprise to anyone to read the things on this slide in terms of the, we use a pragmatic and permissive Apache license, the PMCs, by merit, vote in people, they make their own technical decisions on behalf of the project. Um, openly developed, so everything's on the public mailing list. All those things enable new contributors to come in and learn about the project easily and feel, hopefully, that they can participate. And if they participate, that they will be taken seriously and perhaps invited in. So one note about the Apache brand and the Feather by itself is those two brands are special to the foundation and to its membership. But we have a very, a lot of us have a very personal um, relationship with the Apache brand because we have been building it for the past 15 years. So the Apache brand is really special to us and is different than all of our project brands. That's just a, a note to, to file in the back of your head. So what are the project brands? Obviously we know CloudStack, but these, these policies and these, um, the whys of our policies apply to all Apache projects. So this is one way that we ensure that we have some sense of community and also that we, you know, both leverage the Apache brand for our projects as well as leverage our project's reputation for Apache is ensure that every project is Apache foo. So Apache cloud stack. It's important to have the Apache in front of it. Very much, thank you. So within the core guidelines and requirements of project branding um, and legal guidelines and so on, every PMC is free to do their own brand. And we have great examples like CloudStack and a few other projects. And we have some kind of boring examples like some other projects. But that's up to the, the project. We don't dictate any of that. I mean, if the project is passionate about it, they'll do it. So uh, a key par part of our overall policy is while the projects define and manage their own brands, the foundation owns all trademarks on behalf of our projects. So this is a key control mechanism to ensure our project independence. Um, and we also ask that everybody please treat all Apache project and product names as trademarks of the ASF. That's not always clear to some users. And in fact, it's not clear to some users who should know that, hey, it's a software product, it's trademark. Um, I don't sense that in this room. CloudStack is a great place to, to have this talk because I, I get the feeling a lot of you already get this, but uh, I have to say that. So, a friendly reminder, which is, like I just said, not for this room, I would imagine, uh, but it clearly is for some other rooms, is it's not your brand. So, you know, the, the donor of this project has done a great job in the process of going through incubation and going from their product to Apache CloudStack. And just this morning, a number of people talking about, you know, we want to make Apache CloudStack be successful. And yeah, I'm, I've got my badge over here, but I want to make Apache Cloud su successful. So this is a great success story. But it, this is important because when it's the Apache brand, we know that part of the Apache brand is independence. So when another vendor or a small consultant or you know, someone just starting their career wanting to make a noise for themselves 
knows if they show up on the list, they will have a chance of being accepted, getting in, inf influencing the project. And it's not gonna be dominated by one vendor who will lock other people out. And that's critical to the Apache brand and to all of our projects. So what is the trademark policy? Um, I'm not gonna read the policy that's on the website or read bullets to you because you don't wanna hear that any more than I wanna say it. The purpose, the why, the deeper understanding of what the policies actually are is that the foundation needs to maintain our ability to defend our project's brands so that we, nobody can steal them away from us, for example. Um, but we do that in such a way that we can also, we're liberal in the way that we allow people to use our brands in ways that will attract new users and especially contributors back to our projects. So we're different from a traditional software vendor. The typical other vendor would give you a big slap on the wrist or a lawsuit if you use their brand. And there are some ways that we are happy if you use our brand in the right way because it will bring us more contributors. More contributors to our projects means more software. More software means more public good. That is our mission. But the important thing that's perhaps not spelled out in the policy is fundamentally, fundamentally what does Apache provide? We provide two things in terms of trademark law, so to speak. We provide software products. That's our core mission. So don't mess with us in terms of software product branding, okay? Thank you. And secondarily, we provide basic support services. So when, when a new user or a small company who doesn't have a budget or uh, you know, a developer who just wants to experiment, they, should have, they need to be able to come to cloudstock.apache.org and just on this website, they need to learn what it is, how to download it, how to configure it, and have something doing a useful function all from the Apache site, right? Now we're happy for vendors to have you know, plugins or your magic install script that you sell separately, so on and so forth, but the core product from Apache has to be something useful for someone. If somebody wants to go you know, spend extra money or enter a partnership and get the rest of the stuff, that's great, and we love that, because that helps, you know, it's a symbiotic relationship. But for people who don't, they need to be able to get everything from Apache. And uh, I don't know why it's in the bottom, I really should fix the slide, but we do have a mix a, of registered and common law trademarks. So we ask everyone to respect all of them, whether or not they're registered. We are working on a plan to register many more of our trademarks. Um, and CloudStack, indeed, thank you to the previous sponsor is a registered trademark. So I hear you say, you know, I've talked about what Apache believes and what we think and, you know, uh, why you should think about our stuff, but what can you do? I imagine your question is, okay, what's the real stuff? I'm just interested in the details. So how do you use Apache project brands? On software products, we have an FAQ for this. Short, I, I admit, but so, Ono Sendai console powered by Apache Steve. Apache Steve is a real project, by the way. You can go look it up. Not very interesting, but. Or the Yoyodyne accelerator for Apache CloudStack. Now, when that does come out, that is gonna triple your performance efficiency on any cloud, okay? Those are fine to do without permission. The primary brand must be your own. So the point here is that you have a primary brand. It is powered by, or it is for, in case of a plugin, people well understand that there's frameworks and there are plugins, and plugin comes from a different vendor from the framework. Your brand for our brand, and that is perfectly acceptable. Must use the full Apache Foo form of the name. So it must be for Apache CloudStack. So that ensures that we get the credit back to our communities that we you know, also include the Apache brand as part of this. So in terms of logos, logos are too hard to mash up. That just doesn't work. So your, again, your product logo must be your own logo. Now obviously on your download page, you may say, you know, we do all this great stuff, we're super fast, and we're also powered by Apache CloudStack. You can have a little blurb of Apache CloudStack is this. The logo there is fine because it's clear there's a separation, but the primary brand must be yours. So the, the FAQ link is here, which explains that. Um, so obviously, this crowd, I imagine, is very interested in services and hosting, because that's a lot of what CloudStack is. So again, primary brand must be your own, right? Um, use the full Apache Foo form of the name, but here, it's usually much clearer in the, in the eyes of a consumer 
you know, the difference of you're offering hosted solar, right? Really fast hosted solar. People understand it's, there's a software product that you're enabling or providing consulting for or whatever. So I'm not as concerned about these kind of things, both because they're usually clear to the end user, the, the separation, as well as these are things that Apache does not provide. So these are things that we rely, I mean, don't rely on, but certainly appreciate companies that do provide this because then more people will use our software as well. So don't imply exclusivity or affiliation. Hopefully that's obvious. With, think of, instead of thinking it as an Apache trademark, think of it as a Microsoft trademark. That should probably solve most of those questions. But. And again, the Apache Project logo, not as the primary branding, but obviously it's acceptable on the home page as, you know, we're hosting this thing. That's fine. So what's the point? Why, why are we happy to allow some of this, but we, we need some rules on how you do this? Most importantly the, of how we want our brands used is to give credit back to the project community. So we want users of your services and your hosting and your consulting and your training classes to understand that the Apache Cloud Stack or whatever Apache project underneath comes from an independent project community because the community gets credit. I mean, this is important for us, for our committers and our new contributors. And it's also important for us, that's what the Apache brand means, is that if somebody is using your hosting and says, hey, I wanna do solar on my, my own, when they look at solar, they understand they can join the project too. It's not your project, it's an Apache project. So that's why, that's the essence of what we want to happen. So events and swag, um, I don't know if we need to even bother with this, this slide because this is, an exact, this is an example of a great success in terms of CloudStack Collab is uh, following our guidelines, has gotten approval, is great, you know, great organization and running. So events are different than a lot of other things because we're all used to going to trade shows and so on. And we understand that there's the producer of the event and it's about this great product from somebody else and it has these great speakers who work at different companies. So it's very clear to people the difference between the, the branding. So here we would like you to use the foo form. So Cloud Stack Collab Conference, right? Um, not the official product logo because that's not appropriate in the event brand, but obviously the homepage can say, we're having a conference about Apache Cloud Stack and that can talk about Cloud Stack as the product. That's appropriate. The key part of our event policy is including educational content for the underlying Apache project. So somebody should be able to attend your event, whether you're charging you know, $1,000 or whether you're having a bar camp, and learn how some of the content must be about Apache Cloud Stack downloaded from our project. So we have a, a note that PMC members, great PMC here by the way, PMC members must be allowed to be on your selection committee if you have one. So that's our check and balance to ensure that some of the content would be relevant to a user who, you know, might be interested in your services, but might not. They might just want the free version from us. Obviously, a lot of the content can be about your thing because you're doing the event. We understand that. But some of it needs to be about the core Apache project. And we are working on making it much easier, a way that we can protect our brands, but make it much easier for you to then do swag, give away t-shirts and so on. So not just a conference t-shirt, but little giveaways and so on that you could bring to other events. We're working on making that a lot easier. So these are all specific policies that are written up and I'm happy to answer questions with specific examples. What are some ways that um, are appropriate? What are some of the messaging that is appropriate or perhaps rather, I'm just gonna say the messaging that is not appropriate when using an Apache brand in your materials. So don't imply ownership or control because that goes against Apache projects being independent. That's the worst thing is we don't want you know, people to think that the donor of Apache Cloud Stack still runs the project. They don't. Uh, and that's important to all of our brands. Uh, no superlatives, because again, that implies you're the only one who can do something. Uh, no corporate affiliation. So people, committers, interact in projects as individuals, not from our perspective as representatives, rep representatives of your corporation. So, you know, th there is no company affiliation with any of our projects. That just does not exist. We don't have that structure. And uh, some 
places, not here necessarily, have had you know, marketing campaigns, maybe not on their website, but in email blasts and you know, very obvious places saying, you know, we employ 80% of the PMC members for such and such project. No. Again, not very friendly to the community. Not very friendly to the ASF at all. And the reasons for those are, we are vendor neutral, and the Apache brand means our projects are independently run. So how else can you show support? How else can you, um, besides just doing your own branding involving ours, help out with projects? So code and engineers, obviously, inputting to the project, uh, non-coders and so on, which this community is doing a great job with. It's really impressive how that works. Um, supporting speakers at events. So a, a, there are a lot of cases where you know, a great speaker who works for some big co wants to go to the event and the big co says, you know, it's not in my travel budget. You know, if you can see the way to help that speaker get there, uh, that increases visibility for everybody um, and it's helpful. And sponsoring the ASF, again, thank you, sponsors. And oh yeah, help out on marketing at CloudStack. That's a great example of how to do it because that's the PMC is leading, leading the project and welcoming you into that. So the dark elephant in the room, not the yellow, ele yellow elephant, but the dark elephant in the room is Apache brand enforcement. So I will be very brief because I hope it will not come up. But if it does come up, we will enforce our brands. So not in any particular order. We can take legal action, obviously. Um, our pro bono counsel for trademark and brand issues is DLA Piper, which is a worldwide, a global leading IP intellectual property firm, uh, and they are happy to help us, and they have help, helped a lot with setting our policies and so on. Social pressure, pressure and press, so obviously if you are interested in participating in the community, if you want to change the direction, if the rest of the community sees you being the bad actor and we make it known, they're not going to listen to you, either in the marketplace or in the project list. And for cases where I understand that Brand enforcement is often a process of negotiation. When I say negotiation, I don't mean negotiating to allow you to do something I wouldn't otherwise, but discussing the issue and seeing the, both sides of the story and explaining why it is important to respect our brands. When that doesn't work, then I'm also happy to send a note to the board and ask them to vote to remove any employees of your corporation from the PMC of the relevant project. Because if a corporation cannot respect our brand, then as a nonprofit, we have, there's no reason for us to allow them to participate in that project's governance. That's just inappropriate. But don't let it get there, ask first, which I think in this community uh, will go a long way. Uh, so I just wanna, I wanna stay in, stand in the way of lunch, if anybody who's hungry. So thank you and resources. So when we say community over code, that's how we live. That's how we function. Um, so I want to say thank you to all the Apache members who over the past 15 years have built the foundation that allows this to happen, that have modeled the way. Um, thank you to all the Apache committers and PMC members, many of whom are here at the conference, because you are actually accomplishing our mission. I'm not accomplishing the mission of giving away software. I don't even check in to Apache stuff anymore. You are all doing the mission of the public good with software, which I re really appreciate. Um, on trademarks at apache.org, I have a trademarks committee that helps advise me on trademark matters, and big thanks to them, and a special thanks to David Nally, who's over there in the back of the room, not even blushing that much anymore, um, who has really helped out. And uh, thanks to our counsel at DLA Piper. Mark Radcliffe is a leading uh, trademark attorney who sets up a number of uh, other open source think tanks and so on, which I'm still you know, trying to get my own invite to. And uh, here, for everyone here, Thank you for respecting Apache brands. And that goes doubly for people in this room because Apache CloudStack has been one of the, I think, one of the great models of how this can be a success. Both from the obvious perspective of the kind of software it is and the kinds of things that you do as businesses, but also how well the PMC has managed this, how well the businesses have respected our brands and have tried to collaborate to really make a better model out of it. So we very much appreciate that. And I have a few Trademark resources, the, the policies are all posted on the web page. There, there are a couple of them are down a link or two. I'd like to improve that, but uh, it requires having time. One thing that might be useful for the why, why our policies are written this way, is the last link there. The project independence is required for PMCs. So 
I tried to write in an essay format. I, I can define how we have to have the web page show your brand. That's not that hard. But the idea that a project needs to present an independent view of their governance, that's critical for all of our projects, and that is required of all of our projects. Um, so that's an important thing, perhaps, for your directors of marketing to say, hey, you need to read this. This explains why I'm telling you to follow that guideline. Um, because that is fundamentally what, that's the why of how we operate. And if there are any questions, then this is one case where we're, we're happy to take questions in private. Now, normally, we always say, go to the public list. But in brand questions, uh, or go to the marketing list, obviously. Brand questions, we are happy, if, if you feel the need, to ask us in private, on the private PMC list, or trademarks at Apache, which is a privately archived list. So we understand, you know, you might want to launch some new campaign, and you want to say, hey, you know, will this be okay? And you don't want to do that in public because you're announcing intentions. If I say no, everybody is embarrassed. Um, if you do do that, give us plenty of time to respond because I'm here as a volunteer on vacation and all the rest of us who set policy and so on do it as volunteer work because we believe in the foundation. So we need plenty of time to respond to things. So. And I have exactly one minute for questions. Uh, I will be here throughout the conference, so I'm happy to talk to people today and tomorrow. So. And David has a question. Um, I will go post the slides on the conference website. So the conference schedule, click through, have slides posted. I'll do that after this. Thanks. Well, thank you all for attending, and I'll uh, see you at lunch. Thank you very much, Shane.